Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me on my talk about Drone Chi, Somesthetic Human Drone Interaction. Drone Chi was designed to facilitate exploration of movement and reflection on that movement. It's primarily achieved by making the drone respond to small changes in the way you move, breathe, and balance yourself. So to start off, let's move through the Drone Chi experience together. You begin by taking a drone flower from a vine. Then you put the hand pads on, one for each hand, and your hands slightly curve around the contours of the pad. Once the drone is in the air, you're instructed to move your hands around and explore what movements make the light bright. Then the drone starts moving in a circle. You begin to maintain the brightness of that light as your hands follow the drone making that circle. The circle gets larger and larger and you begin to engage different parts of your body like the thighs. Eventually the control switches over to you and you can lead the drone anywhere around the room. This requires coordination and slow movement to maintain. Drone Chi draws heavily on the principles of Soma design. Soma design is motivated by improving one's quality of life through cultivating an appreciation for bodily and sensory experiences. Basically, if you can develop your ability to reflect on what you are feeling, you are better able to appreciate and create your lived experience. Some typical examples include the Soma mat and breathing light and mediated body. The Soma mat applies heat to different parts of the body while a voice guides you through analyzing and appreciating the sensations that the, from the heat. The light, uh, the brightness of the light is tracked to your breath, allowing you to appreciate and analyze your pace and, and depth of your breath. Mediated body uses the act of touching another person to modulate an electronic sound. So on the left, you've got this static and calm aesthetic and on the right, you've got a more dynamic and playful. All of these involve softness in the material interaction. Softness is often, but not always, a common theme in soma aesthetic, in soma design. But these examples also allow for the experience to unfold in their own way, and they're not necessarily designed to have repeat experiences each time you use them. So if you look at the raw materials of drone chi, there are some challenges. You typically can't touch them, the drones. They're noisy when they're in the air, and they're not really soft. And they also carry negative connotations. But the motion capture enables the direct manipulation of the drones. So when I first moved with these drones, I immediately recognized their potential as a somesthetic experience. It commands your attention, the drones, and keeps it as you move with them. And your movements are intimately tied to the drone with the motion capture system. There was definitely something meditative about it, but that needed to be cultivated. So in designing Drone Chi, I took Tai Chi lessons as a source of somatic inspiration. So if I was to cultivate what I felt in the initial uh, interactions with the drone, then I needed uh, something to emulate and that was Tai Chi. So I took three aspects from Tai Chi that I wanted to come through in the design of Drone Chi, and that was coordination of the limbs, slow movement, and imagery. And I mean, what I mean by imagery, it was often I found myself imagining I was doing something else or being someplace else or being something else while doing Tai Chi. So the Soma design process was actually also fused with the product design engineering pro process that was more user centered to deliver something that emulated the aspects of Tai Chi, but maintain an intuitiveness in use. The way we designed Drone Chi is not really covered um, as well as it could have been in, in the uh, Drone Chi paper for Kai, but it is well documented in our recent accepted recent accepted submission to DIS this year, so do check that out. We conducted a user study of 32 people, not to understand how similar Tai Chi is to Drone Chi, but to assess the potential of drones as a somatic design material. In short, we argue yes, and I'll 
use the rest of this talk to explain why. Emblematic of this was the agency versus control result. We had a number of quotes that described the experience akin to a motor heavy skill task like driving a car, but also a high number of people around the social nature of the experience like meeting a new person and trying to figure out what they what that new person was like. A quote that sits nicely in between these ideas comes from this participant who says, there is an element of satisfaction in flicking your hands and getting it back under control again. It's like you are on a horse and the horse gets a little ooh, 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 and then you're like, okay, come back, come back, we're good. So we also actually got a, ended up getting a lot of talk around softness, which is why we say that we can imply softness through form and movement as a design implication in the paper. Across many aspects of the system, the feel of the control was soft, the visual aesthetic was soft, and in the hands, the feel in the hands, and even the noise of the propellers was mentioned as soft. And it was funny that we ended up back at this place of softness that many other somesthetic designs land without actually using anything soft. So I hope Drone Chi highlighted, highlighted a drone's potential as a soma design material. We're excited to explore uh, Drone Chi and similar prototypes um, over longer periods of time to see how they dif uh, fit into different aspects of everyday life. Thanks for your time.